sounds like sounds. Sounds like voices. Yeah. Are you? Do you ever monitor that? Or should I just start thinking? What? That. Like, do you I ever do monitor? monitor yeah. Who's okay. the girl on the right? Oh no, don't. No. Okay, I'll just leave it on the uh, labs. Uh, Illyria. Oh shit. Yeah. You would never know who the <laughs> One of the triplets. Are, right? <laughs> yeah. There's triplets. <laughs> Holy moly! All right, for this interview, uh, you guys answer me. Um, feel free to talk over each other conversationally. You don't have to like stay silently while the other person's talking. It's just a, it's a duo interview. Have fun with it. All right. How are you guys feeling today? Feeling good. Uh, well, I, I'm feeling. I mean, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We're feeling amazing. I'm like. Sick, zero hours of sleep. My voice has been gone for multiple days. Uh, so that all is kind of crazy. But obviously, this is the happiest I've been in a long time, yeah. I mean, I slept four hours. But I sleep like four hours every day, He doesn't so it's sleep fine. normally. He he is a... He, like, sleeps like a rabbit. Ah, I mean... He, he sleeps, like, like three or four hours at a time, and then just, like, wakes up and keeps going, and then, like, logs in and plays Lost Ark, and then goes back to bed again. That's right. Yeah. I mean, during the rest of World First, I would I would go to sleep, wake up, it's 2 a.m., oh, go back to sleep, wake up, it's 4 a.m., oh, go back to sleep, wake up, oh, it's 7 a.m., I can go to the yeah. facility like, at this time. Sometimes our entire guild would be, like, exhausted for a boss, and we're like, all right, we need an extra hour of sleep, and Tish, she's so mad because, like, he'll just go to bed for four hours and then come to the facility and just, like, like stare at his monitor for, like, five hours while I'll get up. He's not built like a normal person. Yeah, and if I, if I ever need some sleep, whenever they rip a late-night 10-minute break, I just go to the review room and face plant my face straight into a pillow for five minutes and i'm good to go for you look like you were sleeping at the end of that boss in your hood well i'm always asleep because if you just are always are always tired always asleep you're always conserving energy true you're never tired if you're always tired Mm -hmm. if that makes sense because you never know what not being tired is like are you built different depends (laughs) he's he's built bad (laughs) whatever it's different for sure but yeah well good for this race though um, talk, right. to, talk to me a little bit about this race. I want you to just tell me like the difficulty and like what it took for this guild to pull out the win. The difficulty of the raid? Yeah, the tier. Was it hard? Do you think this tier was hard? Uh, I think it was hard. Yeah, I mean, it had a heroic week, right? So yeah. there wasn't any like Wasted artificial time. inflation yeah, of the no. actual time. You probably did at most probably a totality of one day of splits during Mythic. So, what, it was 12 days? So, 11 days of just mythic progression, basically? Yeah, purely by days, probably only Sepulcher was harder. And Tomb. Um, and pull timers in Tomb, yeah. Um, but there was significant... I mean, Sepulcher had three more bosses or something like that. Yeah, so. but if you if you look at pull counts, I think uh, Tomb and Sepulcher was 1,200. This one was 1,000. Yeah, with so, three less bosses, which is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was really hard. Uh, but how do we prepare and do? I don't know. We just, like, kind of... They asked me this in the interview after the thing. They were like, what did you guys do to approach this tier differently? And I didn't know how to answer that, and I feel like we didn't do anything <laughs> at all. No. We just, like, did the thing that we do a lot, and then it was just good. I mean, we had some extra tools. Like what? I don't know, the liquid reminder add-on? Oh, that was good. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty banger. I mean, I used, like, one of them, but that's fine. You know, some other people... I Dude, saw like 50. is this a documentary? Okay, you guys need to find a picture of Dryney's Liquid Reminder (laughs) add-on. It is absolutely batshit. It is like, there is a note like every three seconds of the fight. I didn't didn't know they can stack on each other. He cannot be looking at all of those reminders. Like, he's just making them. Yeah. He's just making them up. He's just making them up, yeah. He's like, I guess he's like trying to show prepared like a kid that went into class and like showed his teacher how many notes he made or some shit. He like, he's just like, everybody look, look at, look at how prepared I am. Like, dude, you're not using that. There's just like 50 of them. Yeah. I Meanwhile, well, mine's was, I don't know, I put like two random ones because it was, oh, just defensive here. Okay, I'll put that there. And then there was like, put a gate. Okay. Yeah, sure. That one's there. I don't think I ever looked at it though. Yeah. I don't know. I think we had the same approach. We just, I don't know. We kind of like dominated the whole time and I felt like we didn't do anything different. The guild is largely the same. We had a couple of new analysts that were really strong. Um, did you interact with Dorvon at all? Um, not very much, but I'd read okay, the things he posted mind. and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he's a smart guy. Yeah. Was he remote? Uh, yeah, he was remote. Yeah. Um, okay, perfect. We'll find that thing of Dragon. Uh, what is... Um, I want you to tell me about what THD did at the end of that fight to get this uh, win. 
Uh, oh, the gateway? I mean, I don't know. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, no. So basically, there are seven people assigned to pick up these essences in a pile. He is one of those people. But because the essences don't always drop in the same place, you kind of have to improvise where your essence is. And someone had died earlier in a bad spot and it put it at the edge of the room. And the way the fight works is the ring comes from the edge in. And if someone hasn't picked up those essences, you instantly die. So that was the best pull we ever had. And it was late at night. And we could have easily wiped to that. And he, like, soul burned a to instantly cast a gateway. And he, like, mid-fight, like, just, just randomly gated and, like, saved the raid. Um, to be fair, it was a sick play. To be fair, though, I did watch PV. Dryney was 100% going to get it. Did you see Dryney's PV? Well, well, yeah, but he, he's on a horse. Yeah, yeah, he's on a horse. <laughs> he's, he's slow. He is on a horse. I mean, he would have got it for sure. Yeah. I watched it, he would have one hundred percent got it. But it was it was sick. So like I actually talked to Driney about that earlier. I was like, dude, Driney, THD absolutely stole your moment. <laughs> Cause like people would have gone crazy for Driney if he got that and you like actually just stole it from him. He saw you do it and he's like, Oh fuck it, I'll get a closer one. Yeah, but what about if I just accidentally swerved one wall in the gate? AKA I just picked one up. Oh yeah, gate. if you took the gate on the left or right side, you would have picked one on the way out, and yeah. you would have baited Driney into thinking that you were getting it. He would have turned around, and we would have wiped. Yep. So you did split the difference. It was a sick play, but uh, you you can't tell him too many things like that. It goes to his head. <laughs> is that true? That does. It is true. Depends. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, it's true. It's bookmarked. Okay. <laughs> um, what's uh, what's it like, kind of? I, I mean, I just want to hear from each of you, like. You go hundreds of pulls on these bosses, and how do you keep your sanity? Uh, keeping your sanity. Actually, wait. Or you asked me. Can I? Balance. Can I get like a tissue real quick? I'm like fucking going through it, and I just you don't want to keep sniffling. So we have paper towels. Yeah, just some kind of paper product. I thought you were about to cry. <laughs> I thought you were gonna get emotional. And you're like, I'm getting. Out that of would be. Ready. That would be pretty funny. Yeah. Okay. No, thank you. I was like, oh, this is an emotional <laughs> answer for him. He is going he is, through it. He wow. is fucking messed up. I'm messed up, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, what was the question? So the question was, uh, how do you just bang your head against these bosses hundreds of times in a row, keep your mental, keep your, like, focus, turn around, like, get back on the horse, so to speak. How do you not go crazy? Um, so going crazy would be thinking that we were beating our heads against these bosses, like, in a literal sense. Like, well, not literal, but... Like, we're just pulling it and just like, okay, well, this time it'll go better. But that's not really what this is. This is, like, an extremely complex pro uh, problem-solving process. And we are all, I think, more or less addicted to that, and that's why we like this. So the harder the boss is, how, how long it's going to take for the boss to die, that is just extends that process. So I'll tell you the only time we're ever really, like, upset and not or going insane from doing this is when we feel like there's no problem to solve. Like we have everything solved, but it's just impossible. We're actually beating our head against a wall until it dies. That isn't fun. And that does make you go insane, but that's not actually what this is. Like you, every single pull, you are getting better at something. You are fixing something as a group and that makes you not go insane. I'm interested to hear what he has to say about it. <laughs> me too. Do not remind me of Ajara. With the three days on the singular ad phase. Oh yeah, that's that, pretty that, rare. That 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 was what he basically just said. Is that he reminded me of Ajara. <laughs> yeah, that... it was a boss uh, multiple years ago, and they're much better at tuning now. Yeah, sometimes, but sometimes. like we were really really ahead on the last boss, and this phase was so completely overtuned that we could not get past it, and we were actually beating our head against the wall. There was an unsolvable problem of this phase, and every other guild was like able to catch up, and that was frustrating. But also, it was like, what do we do? We can only keep pulling this boss, and it's completely bullshit, and then eventually they get nerfed. So for those two days, it did feel like you were beating your head against the wall, but that's, that's pretty un uncommon. I don't think that's... I don't know if we've really felt that way since then. No. There's been, like, rare ones, like Razagif, right? But Oh, yeah. Actually, multiple things on Razagif. Yeah, multiple, but... That's okay. <laughs> that's talk, okay. Talk to me about this race, Keith. You want this race? Well, yeah. I mean, well, I want to know about. Well, like, he's talking about solving problems. True. I, I, I'm I'm the, I'm the guy that takes a nap mid 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 strat talk. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, you're interviewing two <laughs> distinctly different people. Like in a, in a guild like this, I am not the only one who is like figuring this stuff out. But you also don't have 20 people doing it. 
that would actually probably be crazy, right? Like that doesn't, that's not a good workflow. You guys could imagine that in any job you're doing. If you're trying to come up with a good idea for a shoot, if it's you and a couple other people and a producer and a director, that makes sense. If it's literally 20 people, it'd be like so many different directions and stuff like that, it could be a problem. It's the same thing in this. Uh, and, and THD is a, is a very good soldier, you know, someone who literally goes to sleep while I'm talking about this stuff. And then he's like, what did we change? And then we pull the boss and then yep. he does his job. Right. That's right. I mean, when, when we're about to pull, it's like, all right, so what do I do? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. And then like, if, if the, if the break goes on for too long, I'll just sit in my chair like this. Just knocked out. <laughs> just hearing the noise. I hear my name or a gateway. And I'm like, oh, what's going on? Is someone going to give me some assignment? Am I, am I good to do something? <laughs> and then, yeah, we have a, an and then I just do it. We have an I, interesting... I'm all about pulling, you know, you, you let me have oh, the wheel yeah. though. There'll be a pull 10 out real quick. Yeah. We have an interesting like duality of players who like figuring the boss out and like taking breaks to really think about the boss. And we also have players that are just like, bro, just slam a pull timer. Like, let's just go keep going. And I think we've evolved a lot over time of learning when to do both of those things. Yeah. Are you addicted to problem solving? No. <laughs> I mean, he is. He actually is. He just doesn't know it. He just does it on a personal level. I bet he is obsessed with problem solving how to play Warlock correctly on this fight. From what spec you play to what talents you play to what you do to what is the safest thing to do and what you can do to help the raid. He absolutely is. But even if you want to admit it, I don't know if he'll admit it or not. Nah, I mean, I have Amp Curse, bro. You don't know. It doesn't matter what that means. He's 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 he's, he's basically just not going to agree. And that's fine. I got I got warlock abilities. Yeah. All right. Um, I want to know just kind of uh, your guys is like like what are you gonna do now? What happens next? Probably blow up, right? Just blow up. Yeah, just blow up. What does that mean? I don't know. Just blow up. Just blow up. Yeah. Yeah. You just you just blow straight up. Um. Yeah, no, we'll probably like go to Disney World or something, and then yeah, they'll they'll probably have a great time. I'll probably just be here oh, he'll chilling. never go. By the way, every time we win, we I'll go just... to like Top Golf or we go to oh, no free ads. By the way, we go to like some random golf place. We go to like a bowling alley or something like that. And every single time, he's like, "Well, you all have fun," and we're like, "Dude, just like come, you know." Just well, like I came to the bowling alley. You did go to the yeah, but you were mad the whole time. You were you were well, throwing, you know why I went to the bowling alley. You were right? throwing a fucking fit the whole time. You what do you were, mean? The whole bit of you being at the bowling alley was like, "I don't want to be here." Why did you even go? You could have uh, just stayed back. So I went to the bowling alley to get food. I was hungry. There was no food at the place. Yeah, so he went there to get food and was actually, like, telling everyone how much he didn't want to be there. It's like, dude, just fucking go home, you know? <laughs> well, I was hungry, man. I didn't want to pay for food. Yeah, he's... he's I'll, I'll a, take some free food. He is a gamer through and through. He goes home. He has 20 ch Twitch chats open on his second monitor. He plays... He has, like, 7,000 hours logged in Lost Ark. He is constantly playing That's other games. He wakes up every day games... And then goes to sleep and repeats that. Uh, probably that kind of archetype of a person. There's no more person like that in our guild than him. He is a, he is a gamer. He does not want to go out and drink with us. He does not want to go hang out. He loves hanging out with us if we're all gaming. He is a gamer. I don't know. My, my dare police officer in fifth grade told me to not do drugs. He's he's wholesome. Yeah, I mean he's I, not I'm, I'm break clean. Any rules. I'm super clean. Is that valuable to have in the guild? What a person like that? Person like what? Person like THD. I mean, yeah, obviously it's valuable to have THD, but what do you mean? Like, as, like, a degenerate gamer? Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, there's a good chance that if you're a degenerate gamer, you're more likely to be good enough at this to do this, yeah. Yeah. Just have a soldier. Dude, tell them about how you clean your clothes in the apartment. <laughs> so, in the in the apartments here at TL, by the way, we there's, like, a cleaning staff, and, like, if you don't put something on your door, they will, like, come in every day. It's sweet, by the way. And they'll, like, make your bed, and they'll wash all your clothes. But he puts the sign up and never wants them to go in your room. Tell him why. Well, I just... I have a pile of clothes. There's clean clothes. And there's dirty clothes. They mix together, and they get clean. That's not how that works. Okay? He thinks that if you have like a set of clean clothes and you have like dirty clothes, you just mix the dirty clothes in with the clean ones and over time they just become clean again. Well, yeah, I mean the room smells nice. It that, doesn't it doesn't work. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is insane. No, I mean they, they got air conditioning, new air is always coming there, in. There there are people while we are raiding that will <laughs> go into his room and clean his clothes for him. 
And he's like, no, I don't want them to clean my clothes. They will do it themselves. Hey, yeah. For the last couple tiers. For the first three tiers, I think his roommate quit the guild after every tier. So I just like took it upon myself to do it. Yeah. If that was the case, Fired Up would not be in the guild then. Okay, Fired Up's the only person who has roomed with him and has not quit the guild. Yeah. Is it? The rest didn't survive. <laughs> he did not kill them. But they but they but they are they are no longer here. They're yeah. scarred. Like they're no longer in the guild. They are still on this earth. They're so, here. So you are like you, you, you take take one for the team in a way? Like, someone has to do it. We kept losing players, so I had someone had to room with. There was a common denominator. Like if you roomed with THD, there was like an eighty percent chance you would not raid here anymore. So I just took that upon myself. I was like, I'm gonna be here no matter what. You like Mac? <laughs> that depends. Go ahead. <laughs> Tell me what it depends on, and yeah, elaborate. He tells me to put down a gateway. I might, I might look at him weird. You, you love doing that. You do. You love being the most like little helpful raider. You do. You like doing all the like helpful things. You do it yourself. Well, there. You know, it. it I put down a gate in the fight, a, a signed gate. I don't think I saw ever anyone ever take it. When? Shackles too. I had shackles too. I didn't even take it myself. Oh yeah, yeah. That gateway wasn't very needed. <laughs> but it was nice. I bet people took it. They took it early while we were still learning it. But and, yeah, it and didn't. they probably got hit by out of work. It didn't matter. And you'd probably like not put it down for one pull and some be like, well, the gateway wasn't there. And then it had nothing to do with why we wiped, and then you'd get mad. Yep. No, he, he's talked to you about being a soldier. How is he as like a, a, a guild leader? Oh, Jesus. This guy leads a guild. <laughs> I don't know, does he? I don't know. I haven't seen him. At, uh, uh, it, progression comes around. He's there. Farm? Nowhere to be seen. That's a fact. I. <laughs> That is a fact. I do not want to be there. That's a uh, farm. I learned that a while ago. So when I went outside the raid to do 21st man stuff, I really appreciate that challenge in a progression scenario because you can do so much more than you could if you were in. But that's only because I'm constantly solving every problem from every perspective I can. As soon as the race is over, those problems are gone. There is no reason to raid lead farm. You are just saying things. It doesn't matter. You have no impact. So doing that drives me crazy, and I promise you I would quit if I had to, like, just do this in farm for a long period of time. So, yeah, you can, you can, you can make fun of me for that, <laughs> but I will continue to do that. It's in insane, and I promise you everyone in my position would do the same thing. We, just, we just put the little thunderstorm emoji. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's raining today. Yeah, I said, yeah okay. I said I was going to be late to ra raid one day because it was storming, and then I never showed up, so now every time I'm not there, they just post, like, thunderstorm pictures. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> it's raining. I mean, it could not be there. Awesome. Um, I want to get just kind of your closing thoughts on this whole experience and this uh, this tier. Uh, walking away as champions, your world first best guild in the fucking world right now. Uh, why don't you close it out for me? Uh, THD, take, us, take it away, man. Look what up. <laughs> Look what up. <laughs> nah, but I mean... Yeah, it's fun. It's good. Yep. Picky, picky's type dying shit, of laughter. Type yeah, shit. Type, type shit. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. We kind of dominated the whole time. It was sweet. Uh, felt good. I mean, every day, you get used to, like, there's this terrible feeling in the race where you know that if a guild is just as good as you, let's say his Echo is just as good as us, just for the sake of argument, when we raid for... 15 hours, and then they start their day at the same point we did, you expect any guild that's just as good of us, just as good as us, will do what we did in a little bit less time. Because a lot of the time we spent was troubleshooting and figuring out a finalized product, and they wake up with that, right? Th so usually you just wake up and you have this pit in your stomach, like, I hope Echo didn't get too far. And that never happened. This whole race, for two weeks, we never woke up and were like, oh, Echo went farther than what? They, they actually usually ended their day behind where we ended ours. Um, so, yeah, we absolutely popped off. I don't really know why. Like, we'll probably get into it. It kind of just felt like a normal raid. We didn't really have a bad day. Like, in every tier that we've lost, I can point to a day, and it's like, man, we really fell apart on that day. That didn't happen this time. Maybe it's that. But there was more than that. I, I don't really know. We just, what do you think? What do you think? Uh extreme passion extreme passion yeah i mean 
They they were they were thirsty for blood. Who's they? Us. Why did you say they? Like that's us. Because it could be uh, anyone. It could be anyone. Yeah, anyone's thirsty for blood. You? Yeah. Oh, I love blood. Yeah, he's crazy, man. Like <laughs> we'll kill bosses and then he'll just say like fuck every other guild and just like turn his stream off. Just like just like whatever. He's a he's a very angry little guy. He gets mad. A lot of anger. Built up. He uses it. Yep. He thrives on it. I don't know. I'm good. Is everyone else good? Yeah. Killer. Cool. Thank you guys. Yep. Thank you. Congrats. Congrats.